Making cider is not a difficult process at all. Juicing all those apples was a lot of work, but um, if you're starting with juice, then making cider isn't hard at all. And if you have a lot of apples to juice, then it's very inexpensive. Of course, you do need to have the proper equipment in order to juice all those apples and renting it costs about the same amount as just starting um, with juice. So when we make cider and I don't have a bunch of apples to juice, I buy apple juice at Walmart. It's very inexpensive. And you really only need four things to make cider. You need juice, you need yeast, you need something to ferment in, and I use a carboy, which is a glass jar, the one that you saw in my video. And then you need an airlock, which is the thing that you see on top of the carboy in my video. And my preference for yeast when I make cider is actually champagne yeast. I prefer it for really three reasons. One, it's easily accessible and easy to work with. Two, it makes a relatively dry cider if you let it ferment all the way down, and I do prefer ciders that are not super sweet. And three, it does a really good job of basically attacking whatever it is that you are working with your juice um, with fermenting the sugars out before it has the opportunity to start growing anything that you don't want in your cider, like any kind of gross bacteria or fungus. And so that's particularly helpful if you're starting with juice uh, from apples like I did in that video. I did not pasteurize any of that juice. I just used a um, champagne yeast because it does such a good job of starting the fermentation process before any bacteria can begin to grow. So let me know if you have any other questions, more questions, or if you want me to do a more in-depth video on how to make cider.